I'm going to talk about the basics of graphing an exponential function. Let's look at y equals 5 to the x and just make a big t-chart. After this, I'll only need three points, but I want to show you how it behaves. 5 to the 0 is 1. 5 to the 1 is 5. 5 squared is 25. 5 cubed is 125. These numbers are going up really quickly. Let's see how much of it we can graph. There's 0, 1, 1, 5, 2. Well, we're already off the paper and way up high. Let's see what happens as we try negative x's. 5 to the negative 1 is 1 fifth. 5 to the negative 2 is 1 over 25. 5 to the negative 3, 1 over 125. Negative 4. 5 to the negative 4, 1 over 625. I can get these fractions to be incredibly tiny, but I can never get them to be zero. And so my y's can be very small, very close to zero. They're going to get very huge, but they never be zero. So we're going to get an asymptote where y equals zero. So on the left, it's going to get very close to that asymptote. On the right, it can use all the x's. It just very quickly gets so steep we can't see them on our graph. And so in the end, our domain is all real numbers. Our range are all the y's bigger than zero. And we've got an asymptote of y equals zero. These curves, where the variable is in the exponent, all have the same basic shape. And They'll all have where negative 1, whatever the base is, wherever 5 is, it'll be 1 over that base. Where x is 0, y will be 1. And where x is 1, y will be 5. And these are really useful points because they define where this curve changes from almost but not quite flat into so steep it's off your grid in a hurry. So these are the key points we're going to follow in transformations.